fire tears through a local Catholic school, causing massive damage. And if this sounds familiar, it's because this is video from the arson at St. Anthony of Padua School in Parma back in February. Now it's happened again, and having visited Parma in the aftermath, I know just how emotional this can be for a community. This time, that pain can be felt in Lorraine, where an arson investigation is underway at St. Anthony of Padua there. The state fire marshal is now offering a reward for information in this case. News 5's Catherine Ross went to Lorraine to check out the damage, which is estimated to top a million dollars. Friday, the damage is clear. And I couldn't believe that anybody would do that for whatever reason. And so is the disappointment. It makes me want to double down on prayer, especially the rosary. We need that now more than ever. At St. Anthony of Padua's gymnasium, windows are broken, walls are charred, and siding is melted. We believe that the fire started underneath the gymnasium in a storage uh, area. Uh, the state fire marshal has declared it arson. The rain fire says a passerby first reported seeing smoke near the school and parish on Erie Avenue shortly before 5 Thursday morning. Crews were able to quickly contain and knock down the flames. The state fire marshal found accelerant at the scene. It's just so sad to hear that it was arson. Now, even though the fire started outside of the building here, it still did a significant amount of damage. Investigators tell me repairs here could cost more than a million dollars. It's very sad, but there's a lot of sadness in the world anymore. A lot of hate, a lot of people that just aren't happy with the way things are. Investigators don't believe the arson was politically motivated. They also don't think this fire and another suspected arson in February at St. Anthony of Padua School in Parma are in any way connected. Purely coincidental. Um, I, I know that they're working hard over there to figure theirs out. Uh, this totally unrelated. The state is offering up to a $5,000 reward for any information in this case. Parishioners and neighbors say they're praying for answers. Yeah, I'm not fearful because that's not what the Lord wants for us, but but I do um, feel like we need to take this seriously. In Lorraine, Catherine Ross, News 5.